Hi everyone! So today I want to kind of follow up on my last videos um, as I did in my last video and the one before and the other one before that. I'm almost done! Bear with me! Uh, I really like the style. Uh, there's two, thing, two things I want to try again. Uh, one where I swirl and drip on a base coat of paint. Today I picked white. I think it's going to make the colors pop um, and maybe a little bit of white in between the swirl would be nice. Um, we'll see. And the other thing that I'm going to try probably in the next video is kind of a patchwork uh, type of uh, drip. Like drip with some color in a square, then another square or around or other colors kind of patchwork. Not just a single swirl that continues or linear that continues, just spot of different colors. I think that would look interesting. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I love reading your comments. And so for today, I mix my paints uh, pretty much the usual way. Uh, for the high floor acrylic, the fluorescent ones, the orange drip of paint just went to the floor. Um, I'll clean that up. <sighs> My bad. Okay, and yeah, high floor acrylics. One part high floor acrylic to 10 part medium and then 5% water. I want my paint to be a little more liquid than usual so they drip easier instead of uh, being stringy and just flows and swirls. And for the fluid acrylic, it's 30% paint to 70% medium and then 15% water. And for the heavy body acrylic, the Quinacrinone Violet, it's 50-50 paint medium and then I add the full 25% water. So, I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that. Alright. So I have my white paint here. I don't think I'll need all of it. I'll probably keep some for my next painting. I really want just a tin coat. What I'll do is I'll also cover my sides with the white paint so it will help the drips flow over the sides and cover them. I'll just pop the bigger bubbles all right now for the drip
just a little more to complete the corners. All right, so I'll give you a time lapse in case it moves and changes, and meanwhile I'll just go over the sides and pop the bubbles that are really big. The rest should pop by themselves. GC800 is great for that, it doesn't really keep bubbles. But as it dries. All right, so this is really, really cool. I love it. I don't know why I, I didn't try this before. Like, I should have tried it way, way, way before because it keeps the drop really uh, a lot well, uh, a lot better. Like, they, it keeps the drop intact. Shack little dri uh, shack. <laughs> I'm speaking friendlish. Every little drop here uh, seems to have kept its shape, and then the other drop on top of it, and so on, really created a lot of cool lines and details. And it seems that it stays where I put it a lot more too. Like, instead of trying to morph and do weird things to um, agglomerate together, it just stays in place. Except when I put a little bit too much paint and it tends to pull in the middle because there is a lot of paint on this. But I'm confident that with the GAC800 it will dry nicely. The other ones I've done have all dried nicely, no problems at all. And yeah loving this. I think it will look awesome under the black light. Uh, I think it will look awesome as it dries too. The fluorescent paints will dry a little more transparent. Uh, but well, a lot more. So we will see a lot more of the purple and yellow, a lot less of the fluorescent flashy orange and blue. It will dry much darker, much more dull. So I think it's going to look really cool and surprising under the black light. Well, yeah, trying to uh, cover the reflection here. I love this. It looks super treaty too. Like it looks like I could fall in the middle, and I love it. Lots of movement, lots of details, lots of way to get the eye going around the canvas, looking, checking out all the details. Yep. And we're back and really happy with this. Like I said, I don't know why I haven't tried this before. I think that the, the patchwork painting that I will make 
uh, will be in the same color since I have leftover paint and I will put a base coat of white under it so really when I pour my little circles or squares or whatever the shape it will end up being because I think it will still move a little bit uh, but it will stay in place a lot better and I think there will be more definition and I think it's going to look pretty <laughs> so yeah um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and yeah on that note thank you guys for watching I hope you have a great day make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video bye